Today I'm making a Josephine hanging basket that was requested by Kim over on Instagram. Hi, I'm Sheena Joy and if macrame is your jam, subscribe and hit the bell notifications. Let's jump into it with a quick tip. Tape your ends so that it doesn't unravel on you. Gather all six cords together, find the center and we're going to tie a lark's head knot on the ring. Make sure it's snug and I find it's easier to pull each individual strand. With one of your smaller cords, we're going to tie a gathering knot just below your lark's head knot. Just a friendly reminder, if I'm going too fast for you, I invite you to go check out my knot tutorial playlist. I'll link it in the card above. So for a gathering knot, you want to make a loop and then starting from the top, you're going to wrap your cord around your loop and then insert the tail end in through the loop and then you're going to pull the top cord taut. Depending on how tightly you wrapped your cord, you might struggle here like I did. Then trim off the excess tail ends. If you have a little bit of frayed end sticking out, I like to use the tip of the scissors and just kind of tuck the ends into the knot. Moving along, we're going to be working with four cords. Split your cords in half and we're going to be tying a Josephine knot. To make this knot, first you must make a loop over top of the cords on your left hand side. And take care to keep your strands straight and even. You're going to want to visually see that your strands are in the center of the loop. This will help you later. Once you have your loop, grab the cords on the left hand side and you're going to want to bring it over top of your tail ends and then up and behind your right side cords through the center. And then you're going to want to put your cords right through the middle. And this is where that original loop is visually important. Once your strands are through, we're going to pull it right back up on the other side here. And now we just kind of adjust it to have it situated nicely. I'm going to link my single strand Josephine knot tutorial up in the cards above, just because that tutorial is a little bit easier to follow along than this one. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other two sections. And then using the same cords, we're going to do a secondary row, spacing them at about four inches apart. And then of course do the same thing to the other sections. And now we're going to join our two sections together by taking two strands of each cord on both sides. This should create kind of a netting. And of course we're going to join the other sections together as well. You should have something that looks like this. With your last piece of cord, we're going to tie another gathering knot at the bottom. This knot is spaced another 4 inches away from the bottom of our last Josephine knots. And finally we get to add our pot. This is the exciting part for me. And because our netting is spaced out so well, you can actually get away with using a bigger pot. I decided to unravel the ends here just to add some more texture. I really like the wavy effect that the three strand cord gives. Before you go, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, if you like a more vintage inspired advanced pattern, please click on the video on the right, and I'll see you over there.